Today I'm going to simulate uh, curry noodles as much as possible because I have some curry soup and uh, not really curry soup the traditional curry soup of the curry noodles but this one is more or less more or less uh, from the Chichong Fan in the uh, service Satya market there's a lot of it it's starchy type of curry with uh, pork meat or shredded pork meat or chopped pork meat this one is the mushroom sauce which is not much not as much as this one this one I'll uh, one day have to figure out what to do with it besides eating it so how to uh, make it like a curry noodles first off I got the yellow noodles which is egg noodles then uh, let's see the, normally when you are eating curry noodles uh, you should have the yellow noodles or uh, mean mean is the yellow noodles that is very very soft so I'm going to like simulate it using this uh, simulating uh, using spaghetti or durum wheat I'm gonna have to like boil it past its its uh, what should we call it mm, past its uh, al dente stage it's not gonna be uh, firm and soft it's going to be just soft because I want to get the same consistency as mean or the yellow noodles not that yellow noodles that's egg noodles but it's yellow in color as well then I uh, have to make sure this uh, defrost itself it's 10 minutes to 11 a.m. so lunch is pretty near so let's accelerate the defrostation. Is there such a word as defrostation? If not, then I've invented one word. Thank God for moi. Water, water, water. The most important lubricant of all during sexual activities. Besides cream pie. Come to think of it when you're thinking of cream pie, you see the frothing of the white stuff out of the <coughs> genitals namely the vagina you might think of uh, churning butter yeah churning butter it's like churning butter you're just like smashing in the what they call hammer of god or the big pellet you know to make butter traditionally you think of german girls with their traditional sexy dresses churning butter using a mortar and a pestle that's very long like a huge giant African dick so pop 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 and you get wait that's not the way to make butter shit now remember butter is like how you make it is if you watch El Yankovic's uh, comedy music video uh, the parody for that Michelle Pfeiffer movie involving gangs of New York and black people in America then I don't know what's the name of that that movie. I don't think I watched it properly, but I love the song. Uh, the song was great. I forgot what's the name of the song. Uh, I can't even remember the beats to it. But I remember El Yankovic. Wait, was it this parody or El Weird El Yankovic? Uh, parody of of we call those people you know that uh, does not like technology. In America, what do you call them? Humas, Hamas, Hamas. Uh, I forgot. Uh, in the rural areas or middle of America, they have there. There's this uh, cult-like thing of people. You can fuck your daughters, maybe. Who knows? Uh, if you're in there, then you cannot have uh, anything that's electrical. So no smartphones, no vibrators, no unless the vibrator is mechanically driven and not battery operated. So nice. How am I talking about that? I forgot the name of that uh, race of people in the middle of America. So besides the mean that I'm going to uh, simulate through this spaghetti. I'm going to use some of this too. Mai fun or vermicelli or in Malay bihun. And uh, sauces wise, no garlic, no oil. Uh, I don't need those. I think that's about it. It's very simple. Four ingredients. The curry, which is uh, from the chi chong fun. Stall. 
egg. Oh, I almost forgot. And one chili, make it a bit spicier, and I'll report back whether it's delicious or not. Oh, I can actually dump this in. Some coconut milk. What else? Some very spicy stuff. Uh, well, let's see. Sesame seeds? No, no, no. Some chili flakes. I can see it's inside here. So I'm just trying to make use of of whatever I find here. Chili flakes? Hmm. Uh, should I? Never mind. It's kind of like an experiment. What's that inside there? What the hell is this? Cream cheese. Oh God. My sister's gonna make some cream cheese. And I'm kind of like still sick. What's this? The fuck? Oh, some kind of krill thing. I asked my sister what the hell this is for. I might need to use it one day. Oh, there's a chocolate thing here. You can find a lot of food when you are diligent in looking for it. Uh, blueberry chocolate sucks balls. Chili flakes? I think it's only for pizzas. It would be nice on pizzas but not on curries. Uh, special chili sauce from Binsun. Very spicy, very nice. I like it. Uh, hmm. Srirachi? Hot sauce? Does it change its consistency? Never mind, just experiment and see. Might turn out dog shit but who cares? Mmm, any more? Some garlic chilli? Mm, I might actually turn into some kind of uh, abomination like Frankenstein's monster. Uh, so, a couple of these, a couple of that and see what we get. That's what uh, clubbing is all about. Go there, get sloshed. Hopefully you bring a girl back to your apartment to murder. Sorry, <clears throat> to torture, <clears throat> no, to make sweet love to. Okay, nice. And of course, uh, some of these uh, spring onions. It's always nice to have some spring onions laying, oh sorry, not laying. I've been thinking about too much about sex. Laying on the hay or whatever, that's a euphemism or a proverb for fucking back in the old days, you know. Laying on the barn, no, laying, laying inside the barn on the hay fucking uh, girl, farmers. Daughter, whatever. Oh, this plastic bag is quite big. Maybe can cover my helmet. Cause I need a. Ah, there's a hole in it. Fuck. Never mind. This just fits big pro big objects. Ah. Ah. Still have a bit of mucus in the nose. my salty solution mm, I think I'll have it later to gargle with so okay I think I got everything I don't need anything else do I need chicken normally chicken yes for curry noodles but I already have the pork inside this curry hopefully it's not punctured if not the whole water will be I mean I will lose the the soup that's the um, sometimes it's quite unfortunate when you put in the freezer it might like contract or expand and the plastic is torn apart by the contraction or expansion of the of the water. Oh, it's always good to have a bit of spring onions or like lying around because it adds a extra dimension to your food, it gives it a fresher taste. But actually, it's like onion taste. Yeah, so. I might not use this sriracha sauce, might not use this garlic spicy sauce. <coughs> so that's my experiment for today. Today I'm quite free, I'm only going out at 6 pm for an art show or not art show, fashion show in Zebra KL. I've decided to add some balls, uh, pork balls with a lot of cuttlefish in it because mm, pork balls and cuttlefish goes together like dick and vagina. Delicious. And this one is fish ball, vegetarian fish ball, lovely. Why do you call it vegetarian fish ball? Huh? It's made of fish, right? And fish is not vegetarian. Fish is not a plant, it's a fish. Like a, smells like a vagina. 
So let's see here. Ooh, wow. Oh, shit. Wow, there's a lot of meat in this thing here. I don't need the balls, actually. But I do need my own balls. Testicles are very important for co-creation and making of the next generation. I wish Rachel Wise would just divorce Daniel Craig so I can make her the mother of my babies. Twelve of them. Babies. I think I'll go downstairs just to have a fag, to buy a single cigarette and maybe get something for the noodles, namely tofu pork, which is delicious as fuck, and bean sprouts maybe if they have. Let's see here, the weather is okay, a bit weathery or a bit misty, kinda, hazy. Uh, yeah, let's go down. When you have nothing planned, uh, yeah, nothing to do, 6pm, I will go out at 6pm to KL, Zebra KL, for the fashion shoot. Uh, yeah, just go down and have a fag again. Shit. Okie dokie, the soup is kinda okay now. It's all, well, let me see, defrosted. Forgot to put the noodles in into the water, so now it's about 1.30 p.m. So quickly, quickly do it. When you are using vermicelli, bihun, or uh, this uh, vermicelli, bihun, or maifan in Cantonese, uh, it's always best to, or always wise to rehydrate it because that's the only way to go. So I'm going to eat this much. It's quite a lot, actually. And there is a, what you call it? Reason is because I think I've abandoned the idea of using the spaghetti because this is not yellow noodles. If I wanted to eat yellow noodles, then I could have gone downstairs uh, to the market and buy me a packet of yellow noodles. So, nah, I'm not gonna use durum meat at all, just white noodles. And I did not buy any tofu pork or fried tofu, unfortunately, because there's a, there are a lot of ingredients here already. The pork meat in the curry soup, egg, and two balls. So that's good enough. So I'm gonna boil some water because uh, because I need to like cook the vermicelli and also the balls. So just fill it up with uh, water. Preferably. Preferably water that is, uh, what should we call it, filtered water because the water quality in Selangor, which is the state that I'm staying in, in Malaysia, is notorious for brown water or water that is brown in color or rusty water. Uh, yeah, don't ask me why or how or what, it just is brown. Firstly, turn on the heat. Oh shit. Boil it, boil it, boil it. Yep. Don't need this because I'm not using this. I'm not sure whether I'm going to incorporate this chili sauce and sriracha hot chili sauce or not. No idea actually. Oh shit. So I'm going to use the wok. Let's uh, get on chopping. It's gonna rain. It's gonna rain real heavily. So I'm gonna, I maybe I'm gonna use some of the onion oil to top it off or put on top of the what should, what should we call it <clears throat> soup. Okay, the balls into the water first. Uh, into the hot water. Good. The curry soup is not uh, the what you call it salty kind, so I'm gonna introduce some maybe uh, salt into the soup using this sea salt, which is brown in color. It leaves a residue, you know, brownish residue. I think maybe that's micro sand. Uh, I'm gonna finish this thing up and never buy 
these types of uh, uh, sea salt ever again because it's not white it's whitish brown green uh, this, uh, yeah salt up the noodles wow the wind is uh, you can feel it it's kind of like it's going to be a storm out there so hmm do I need onions do I need garlic I don't think so I don't think so I don't think so so I'm gonna chop some of these things up yeah I have to chop some of this up what else to add what else to add I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm not sure okay but water is but oh yes I almost forgot uh not this thing a water bath I want to make my eggs runny so I mean the egg yolk runny so what I need is oh ice bath so if you want to make your eggs runny you need to what you call it I think this would be okay you need to a runny yolk in a half or hard boiled egg is six minutes in uh, hot boiling water or boiling water then after six minutes dump it in the ice bath and that's how you get runny yolk that is prevalent in some of the ramens out there so six minutes in boiling water and when it's boiling, you turn off the heat, I mean not turn off it, lower down the heat, leave it for 6 minutes. Then after 6 minutes, dump it in here, cool it down, then after that, cool it down for how long, it's up to you. As long as it's cooled. Then, then, uh, oh shit, I need to take a piss. Fuck. Before I take a piss, you're gonna see what it is like out there now at 1.30pm, November 2016. Yeah, it's just 1 p.m. and holy shit! Oh my god! And of course, today is a Friday. The mosque is blaring like crazy. Woo! It's gonna be a storm. It's gonna be a storm. Oh gosh! Mm. Gonna be a storm indeed. Oh god! Normally I wake up around 8 a.m. Uh, last night I had a full night because I went to two events yesterday. One was in Damen Wom, Damen Mall. Yeah, a place called Damen Mall, which is next to the Summit Mall. The Summit Mall has, I think, finished its its, uh, its renovation. Should I put the board? I don't want to wear any shit. Uh, might catch a cold actually. Fuck, I'm not so wear a shirt. Yeah, wear a shirt. So, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm 
going to use some of this. Onion oil. Lovely, versatile and great. So let's chop up some ingredients. Today. So yesterday I was like in Damien Mall for the Gampla Expo or Gundam Expo. Where's my... my here it is. Lovely, these chilies are bloody, 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 bloody spicy. Our wind is strong. It's going through the apartment. I keep the seeds in because I want it to be spicy. That's it, I only have one. Could have gotten down or gone down and bought more, but. You are given what you have given. And some of these uh, spring onions. We cut it around here. Put the rest of this spring onion in the fridge. Bring the egg here. It's boiling now. Dump it in. Uh, how to dump it in gingerly? Best spoon when you need one. Ah. Let's see. Spoon! Come on, spoon, where are you? Okay, I use the cover of the this one here. Dump it in. Ooh, oh. Fuck, hopefully it did not crack. Then turn down the heat. Set the watch to six minutes. Six minutes, yeah? Six minutes on low heat. Oh fuck, it's a bit cracked, the egg. That's why you must use a spoon to... to uh, gingerly and delicately lower it down into the water. Now the egg won't be so smooth around the edges of the the, the ball. So shit. Uh, fucked up. Fucked it up. Oh, I can feel the wind. Mighty storm coming. So yesterday the Damen Mall in Subang went there. Nice place, very new. And uh, some parts of this uh, spring onion is a bit wilted. So chop them off. Can. So after the gum plating, went to Shah Alam for the food festival. It's a Malay thing. So two events at night. So I was tired. So tonight, or today, not much things to do except for a fashion shoot or fashion event by somebody called Plain Wong. So that's in Zebra KL, so we're going to take a look. Hopefully they have refreshments like food and drinks, hopefully of the alcohol kind. I've been to Zebra KL before, it's near the Zook near the track, near or next to the Selengo Golf Course KL and near the embassies too. So that's uh, always a happening area for concerts and celebrity sightings. It's the way it is. Okay, next up, turn up the heat on this walk. Excuse me. Okay, the wind is strong now. So heating up the wok. Uh, don't need oil, I don't think so. Regulated kind of hmm. interesting. You can smell the coconut. Mm -hmm. So maybe I don't need to use coconut because it's really full of coconut.
There are many things that you can do with your takeaways when, uh, like, when you have uh, eaten your curry noodles that you have uh, bought from the shop. If you have extra uh, soup, then you can like freeze it, you know, put it in a plastic bag and freeze it. Then you can use it again for later. Uh, huh. But uh, you might not like the MSG or whatever. You can drink the soup when you're out there eating these hawker food. So, yeah, if you like MSG, then go ahead. But if you are like me and don't give a shit, then go ahead with the beef. up the what should we call it the gas so nah I just leave the window one open it's five minutes already going to be six minutes soon taste test is very important when trying to find out how you want your curry to be Okay, I better turn down the heat. I'll be using quite a lot of water. I think it's going to be a what should we call it? A type of noodles that is dry. Okay, six minutes. Let's take this baby out of the water. Look at that. What a rookie mistake that I did. Yes, put it in there. Stop the cooking process. If I'm not mistaken, the egg yolk cooks at 60, 63 degrees Celsius, whereas the protein outside cooks at something else, around 62, 64, I'm not sure. So it cooks at around 60 plus degrees Celsius. It's quite precise actually. So next up, the noodles. <clears throat> oh, before that, uh, to like taste the curry and see whether it's to my liking or not. Before I cook the, what should we call it, vermicelli or bihun. Mm. Salty. Mm. I think it's. Salty enough already. Mm. Mm. Nice. Salty, nice and that's I don't need I don't need the coconut oil. Coconut milk. We put a bit of this garlic chili. Just a bit. Yeah? See what happens. Okay, I think I don't want to fuck it up too much. And noodles into the hot boiling pot of water. You need only a couple of seconds in the water bath.
Okie dokie. Just a few seconds, yeah. A few seconds has already passed. It's kind of like cooked. Now to strain it. I like my bihun to be al dente. Turn off the heat. Turn off the heat on this thing too. It's uh, reduced a lot. Ready and strain it. And now the egg. Let's see. Egg is cool enough already. Don't want to waste the egg yolk here, so I'm gonna put it on the drop it on the which I call it curry. visiting Malaysia in November, December. It's gonna rain like every day. So you can come some other time. After Chinese New Year it will be the monsoon season will be over. So it's 24 hours sunshine, so much sun so much sunshine that uh, you wish it would rain. have it an egg that is still soft kind of the yolk definitely will be soft okay next the noodles finish draining it dump it into the curry like so so Coat it with the sauce. So yum yum, lovely jubbly, nice. Then the rest of the condiments like the chilies and the seeds and also the spring onions lovely and that's uh, how to make this food yummy food yummy food so yummy I ain't, 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 ain't. 
Let's plate it. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? I hope so. Wow. Ow! Fuck. A bit of uh, garlic oil. Mm. Okay. So, that's today's lunch. Lovely. Let's dig in. Ooh. Yum. Mm. Excellent. Ooh, spicy. Because of the red chili. here some vegetable balls mm. sweet balls nice contrast to the noodles that is salty mm. Can actually sell this. Instead of using chi chong fun or pig's intestine noodles, use vermicelli. My favorite pork balls with cuttlefish inside. Mm. Mm. Ah. Sweet cuttlefish, a oh, fishy mm, taste to it, so delicious, so nice, I love it. I think it's bought from the Chongqi, no, from the Buntong chicken and bean sprouts in Ipoh. Mm, love the cuttlefish. These are the pieces of pork. Lean pork meat. Mm. So nice and hot too. Mm. Some of this red chili. People might be wondering why I'm using my hands to eat. It's, it's, it's kind of like makes it a bit more personal, you know. When you're connecting to the, to the food. I, I cannot explain. I think the, you look at the Malay people, they eat with the nasi lemak. I eat with their hands. You might be thinking, oh, so unhygienic. What kind of barbarian troglodytes they are. But in actual fact, it's actually tastes nicer without the utensils. The utensils like chopsticks and metal spoon and fork. Gives it a very artificial feeling to eating. You know, you're putting non-edible stuff in your 
in your mouth not to say that I'm supposed to eat my hands but it's more personal to connect to your food via your hands you're feeding yourself it's like a more of a spiritual nonsense this one here is the egg as I said earlier six minutes and into water bath and you'll get something like this mm. You don't need the uh, pepper, you don't need soy sauce. Just uh, drinking the yolk, a lot of cholesterol in this, okay? Drinking your yolk, or you can change the consistency of your noodles or curry if you let the egg yolk coat your food. Mm. But, Can you hear out there? The thunder? Mm. Okay, enough. Mm. Mm. So good. Mm. Mm. Yum. Mm. So good. Spring onions is, I mean, and you order curry noodles, they will definitely have spring onions on top. And the more spring onions they put into it, the more delicious the curry noodles will be, from my point of view. Mm. So good. a bit of sweetness so today is Friday tonight will be the fashion show tomorrow Saturday will be busy because there is a do mix Panasonic camera workshop happening hopefully they will provide food and going there and uh, supposed to go to another place, a pastry shop in a pastry college in TDDI or Taman Tun, Dr. Ismail. But I forgo that one for the Panasonic test drive of their cameras. Because I hope they will be like what Canon did. Is it Canon or OMD something something camera? I think it's Canon. I may be wrong. So, no, I don't think it's Canon. I think it's something else. Ah, okay, who cares? So uh, hopefully it will be good food. When it comes to all these events, uh, small private events, food is very important. The product is secondary, but food is the one that's important. To me! But don't give me the pastry shit like croissant and puff pastry and bread. Give me full body protein. No sweets, please. No no cakes and whatnot. No. I want something that's savory and delicious and meaty. Mm. Not the thing that Mandarin Oriental was like for the Japan Jetro conference. That one was the only thing that that came close to meatiness was the popia, which has no meat in it. I think if I'm not mistaken. Mm. A way to a human's or a man's heart is through his anus.
I'm gonna take a nap. What time is it? 2 p.m. Yep, 2.15 p.m. I watched some um, Company of Heroes 1 match by uh, a channel called the propaganda not 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 the propaganda cast but the the fun the front line network quite relaxing watching the old videos <coughs> oh. and you're casting the computer games right When you do it solo, which is the easiest way, just do it. You know, you need to like tell people, oh, this time, this time, and then we can do a cast together. That's the easiest to do solo casting. But the dynamism, the funness, and the synergy, the energy is enhanced 10 times when you have somebody else to cast with you. So, if it's one person, is can be quite dull actually but two people casting good so that the casters can bounce off ideas between each other and commentate on the match something like a tennis match have two casters, good stuff one boring. In the top. Save the best for last. My cuttlefish. Yum. Mmm. Good stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye.